Welcome back. Who's hungry? Time to start planning the menu for your holiday parties, including the appetizers. So we have executive chef Drew Kennedy from Zocalo here to show us a new twist on meatballs. What are we doing? Yes, ma'am. So these are chorizo meatballs. So I've got Ooh. chorizo, sausage, beef, um, breadcrumbs, egg, a little bit of our vegetables here, and then just a tiny bit of heavy cream. I'm going to mix cream. all this up. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to mix all this up. You could also use uh, milk if you wanted. Mix all this up. We're going to um, bake them. And then we've got our meatballs, and I've got a spicy chili and pork broth to go with it. I love when you just get your hands dirty, right? Yeah, you could Easiest do this. Way. You could do this, uh, you know, in your uh, mixer if you wanted. I kind of like using my hands yeah. to be honest. It's you know, it's very. I don't know. Get in there and do it. <laughs> and faster. Yes, and the easiest way, of course, is if you have one of these. Oh, an ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoop. That's scoops. genius. Yep. Um, and, and then they just, look better, right? They're uniform. Yeah, they're all the same size. They will all cook the same way, so you won't have one that's underdone and then five or six that are dry. A monster. And, and overcooked, yeah. It's <laughs> great. Now, Good the idea. downside is you don't end up with a big monster meatball. For yourself before right. the party. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, lay these out, and then when you're done, you bake them. And they usually take about 15 or 20 minutes, and it'll really depend on your oven. Sure. Some ovens will just cook faster than others. The magic of television. The magic of television, they come out like this. Are these really spicy or what's the level? These are not super spicy. The broth is in fact spicy and you could adjust that. It uses habanero and um, serrano chilies. Awesome. But if you didn't want to use the habaneros, for example, or less serranos, you absolutely could. Uh, it's all up to you, however much spice level you want in it. And if you, whether you want to warn people or not. Yeah. At your party, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that looks amazing. So what's in the sauce? So the sauce, like I said, it's um, chilies. We use charred tomatoes, uh, a little bit of pork broth. You could, of course, substitute a, um, you could substitute a, uh, where'd my cheese go? Oh, there it is. Oh, queso fresco. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of queso fresco right on top. Oh, you could my substitute uh, chicken broth, of course, yeah. or beef broth if you, if you wanted. Um, just kind of however you want to play it. You can, you can mix it up. You could make it really... Simple, much less spice if you want. The other option is yeah. you call us, we make it, we send it to you. We've got a Zocalo party platter menu that's. And these uh, are on it. And these are on it. And uh, that way you don't have to crack any eggs. You don't have to get your hands in there and mix it. You don't have to worry about making the sauce. I was very impressed though. You literally put these all together in a couple minutes. That's they're, easier than I thought. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the beauties about meatballs is they're yeah. quick, they're easy. You could do it all the day before. You could bake them the day before, and then all you have to do is pop them in the oven and reheat them. Yeah. You know, you have the, the broth sitting on your stove on a simmer. You're ready to go. They smell really good. Oh, absolutely. And Zocalo is on the Country Club Plaza, by the we way, in case you want to stop by. Let me taste the sauce here. Oh, it's a sweet heat. Yeah. Ooh, that's but awesome. A, but there's a heat. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm. <laughs> heat, not in the weather forecast for today. Let's get out to Jeff Penner. Thank you, Drew. Oh, you're very welcome. Delicious.